Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Insider. So in this particular video, I'll be sharing with you all some of the important tips that you could use in order to manage your time well. Time management is very very important. You need to have a good track of your time in order to have a productive day. So I'll be sharing with you all some of the important tips or some of the pointers that I used to follow during my preparation time or which I follow even at this particular time. So the very first thing that you need to keep in mind is having a to do list in your hand. What does this mean? That means that every single day in the morning you should have a list in your hand which you need to make beforehand itself so that you have a good plan in your mind that is okay in this particular day or let's say today is Tuesday. So on Tuesday in the morning I have a list in my hand of all the works that I have to complete. By this what happens is your mind is alert, your mind have a command in itself that yes you have to complete these things in today's time. So this helps you to have a better productive day. This helps you to utilize your time well. Following or in addition to having a daily schedule, you should also have a weekly planner as well. What does this mean? So in the manner that you have a daily plan that today I'll be completing these all points by the end of the day. In the same manner, you should also have a weekly plan. That means you should also have a plan in your mind which would help you to guide you through the complete week that okay, in these seven days, I have to complete all these points. I have to give time to all these points as well so that you have a good strategy in your mind in order to have a productive week. If you will not have a good planning, if you would not have a good strategy in your mind, take my words, you would end up wasting more time than usual because your mind as the, in the previous case, it had a command in the second case in which you are not having any list in your hand. You have not made any plan for the complete week. Your mind would tend to be lethargic. Your mind would tend to skip off the work which it should be doing. So having a weekly plan and having a daily plan is very, very important. These two things are very underrated among students. We tend to skip off like, no, we'll be able to do it ourselves. But no, pointing out to these things, highlighting the importance of these things is very, very important in your planning. As much as clearing any concept is important, in the same manner, having a plan is also very, very important. During my preparation time as well, I made sure that every single week I have a plan in my hand that okay in these seven days I have to cover this unit I have to cover these points of these unit I have to give time to my previous year question practice as well and also the mock test so these planning or this complete planning of the day and of the week helped me to qualify this exam Trust me, these things work very well. These things are in very good favor of your preparation. So if you could, I would highly recommend you to have a habit of making a daily schedule and also a weekly schedule. If you want, you can make a hourly schedule as well. That is during this time interval, during the morning hours from six to nine, I'll be doing a particular concept. Then I'll be taking a break. If you want, you can make a schedule this way. And if not, what else you can do is you can just jot down the work to be done. For example, let's say you are covering unit number one, that is biochemistry in case of the CSIR UGC net syllabus. So 
having to complete this particular unit what you can do is every day you can make a schedule that in the morning i have to complete the amino acids i'm just giving you an example and then so on and so forth in the complete week i'll be completing all these points of the complete unit then i'll be going for the previous equation practice every day in the evening time this is just a simple example you can mold it according to your schedule whether you're going for the msc or whether you are doing any other work together with your preparation it all depends or it could be molded as according to your preparation or as according to your daily schedule so the very first thing is having a daily and a weekly schedule is very very important now the second thing is having a priority set in your mind that means you should have a clear understanding in your mind that yes i have to mainly focus upon these works for example if you are in your peak of your preparation that is you are in your revision phase or whether you can say you are in your completion of your syllabus phase at this particular time prioritizing studies over social media is very important what we tend to make a mistake or what is the common mistake that students do these days is that they give a lot of time to social media and end up wasting up their time but prioritizing the importance of a thing at a particular time is very important when you are free you can give your time to social media no doubt in that but if you are studying if you are preparing for your examination your priority should be to complete the work if it is the demand of the hour it is highly recommendable to switch off the social media and if not completely switch off limit its usage and prioritize your studies over social media this is very very important this is something that i also made sure during my preparation time to not waste time on social media it ends up eating our very large portion of the day so it is highly recommendable you need to have a priority set in your mind that what is the priority or what is the thing that you have to prioritize in your day in your week or in your month whatever you are planning for so prioritizing your work prioritizing your important work over social media is very very important so this is the second tip that you could take the third thing is that you need to control your time very well we end up saying at the end of the day that we did not had time to work we did not had time to do a particular thing but if you look closely it was our choice to not work if you are giving social media more time and if you are giving less work or less time to your main studies it was by your choice it was not something which was told to you it was not something which was commanded to you that you have to spend 8 hours to social media no you are or you have to be a master of your own time this is very very important so make sure that you do not blame the circumstances for your wastage of time rather try to control your time try to have a highlighting point that where is your time going make a schedule if you waste any day let me share my personal experience in this so as and when any of the day during my preparation time if i wasted any day what i used to do was i used to sit in the evening and just jot down that what are the various things that i did in the complete day and after that i used to highlight the area where the most of the time went or where i wasted most of the time and then i tried to put a cap over that or i tried to had a complete stoppage of that thing because prioritizing work prioritizing studies over any other thing is very very important wasting time is easy but utilization of time is very very important and this is something which will take you closer towards your goal so it is very very important for you to be the master of your own time to be the controller of your time let time not control you but you control your time that is very very important 
so this is the next tip that i could give from my side all these points are completely on my personal experience i have learned these things over the preparation phase so it is very important if you wish to take any good points from this particular video if you have invested 8 to 10 minutes of your time in this particular video i want that you take up at least some of the important things to incorporate in your schedule so let's just completely summarize all the points the first thing is having a to do list weekly and the daily schedule the next thing is prioritizing your work understanding that social media is not important what is important at this particular phase is my studies my work is more important and and the third thing is control your time and do not let your time control you so i hope this particular video and these points would help you out in some way or the other and if you find these points helpful do let me know in the comment sections i would love to hear from you all so thank you so much everyone for watching this video and do not forget to like share and subscribe to botany insider and also do not forget to join me on my telegram channel you just have to search botany insider or use the link given below in the description box so this was all i wanted to share in this video thank you so much everyone for watching this video and i'll see you soon bye